We're going to quickly talk about uh, looking at lymph nodes specifically as part of your search pattern. Arguably, you should be looking for lymph nodes when you're looking at everything else. Like, for example, when you're looking at the soft tissues, you can look at soft tissue lymph nodes. When you look at the organs, you can look at kind of those, um, you know, starting all the way from mediastinal lymph nodes to uh, those that are around the pancreas or um, when you're running the vessels, you should probably look, be looking for periaortic lymph nodes if they jump out at you. But sometimes, you know, you're so focused at the task at hand that the lymph nodes might escape you. And in certain situations, it may be useful to just go back to the beginning, um, put yourself on your abdominal window, uh, have your coronal or your sagittal if that's helpful, um, and just do a quick scan through. So we're just going to quickly look again and just put a plug in. Um, you know, there are lymph nodes pretty much everywhere in the body. So we'll just focus on a few places that you can look for them. Um, but you may want to do a dedicated scan where you're just looking for things that are going to pop in and out of view. So we'll start with the mediastinum here. Um, and just looking at the mediastinal structures, we kind of scan back and forth. And immediately we can see that this lymph node is popping out at us. So this is just, you know, periesophageal lymph node. We can measure it. It doesn't look too big, but that's something maybe you would have missed initially when you were doing uh, your search pattern. So, and then we can kind of go even lower, just kind of looking in the center. And again, we see something pop out right here. We have a lymph node that's right around um, the stomach right there as well too. So um, at this point, what we can do is just kind of look at different areas. Um, we can look for lymph nodes around the pancreas um, or other organs in the body and just kind of go back and forth looking for lymph nodes like this one that kind of pop out at us. So again, you should be arguably looking for these when you're looking at everything else. However, um, you know, it can be hard sometimes when you're so focused on other structures uh, to look for these lymph nodes. But in certain circumstances, you may just have a dedicated portion of your search pattern for lymph nodes. And then you can also look kind of in this retroperitoneal space for retroperitoneal lymphadenopathy, which is not necessarily uncommon, especially in certain instances, and just look right around the aorta and the IVC to see if there's anything that's popping out. This is a very small, um, looks like there's a very small one right there um, and some vessels that course near it. Um, so that's okay. But we're just taking a good look. And then once you get kind of deeper in the pelvis, you can look for perirectal lymph nodes, um, you know, those around the bladder, around the prostate, and you can kind of scan all the way down. And then, you know, we talked about inguinal lymphadenopathy, but again, you can also, when you're down here, look at all the inguinal lymph nodes um, here, and just, you see all of them popping in and out of view. So you can kind of have a dedicated view of those. Um, and then you can look around the iliac vessels too um, and just see is there any are there any big lymph nodes that I have to keep an eye on. But basically, you know, always look keep an eye out for lymph nodes, but if you feel like you need it, you can kind of maybe put it at the end and just quickly scan through and see if there's anything that grabs you um, that you missed at the initial pass.